My name is Zoe Ann Yukuko Marie Zuber. Um, I'm an English major pre-MAE and I've just gotten into Truman's MAE program actually, so I'll be a graduate student starting this summer. Um, I was born in Kamauela, Hawaii, but I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. I went to Oak Park High School um, and I had a really influential teacher there. His name was Mr. Reynolds. Uh, and he was always talking about how much of an education he got from here and how affordable it was and all that and this and those and the other things. And I was just like, y'all, you got me convinced. It's, it seems like a cool place. I came and visited. I loved the brick. The library really sold me. And I actually saw the SAB window there for the first time on my tour in December. I think it was the very last tour they had to do. She's like, this is our, our planning body on campus. And I was like, do the students get to do it? And she said, the students get to do it. And I said, okay. And that's pretty much all she wrote. I jumped from poli sci the first day to English the second day of classes uh, because I, those kids are way more ambitious than I think I could ever be in the realm of politics. I was like, I'm gonna be a civil rights justice lawyer. But then I was like, there's gotta be other ways I can get to, to people. Um, and I decided that trying out English as a start would be a good place to go. And then from there, I think sophomore year, I finally figured out how to be a pre-MAE student. Um, it was a little bit of a difficult process, um, but I found my way through Sheila Berkowitz. Um, may she rest in retirement peacefully. Um, but yeah, it took a little bit, but I got there and I'm really happy I'm here. I was on leadership in high school, student council. I was basically your pretty involved kid. I uh, did yearbook. And when I got to college, there was a little bit of this like, well, what do I do now kind of feeling. I came here not knowing that my best friend was gonna come here, not knowing that I was gonna run into my childhood friend. And I basically had no one for a solid like month or and a half. And I joined the board in that time um, because I thought it would be something that would keep me busy, honestly. I didn't really know what it was besides that it was student-led and that they did events. And it's like obviously so much more than that um, now that I'm here and have been here for such a long time. But yeah, I reconnected with my best friend. We applied at the same time and I got on. Where when you join the board, they say you I represent 150 students that would fall into your like scope on campus. So each of us hold that really close to our heart um, and we're able to bark at each other, we're able to fight with each other and like step outside of that boardroom and go get drinks with each other if, if we're of age. It's just one of those things where it's, you're, you're better together because you're stuck together but you all chose to be here. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe honestly sometimes. The biggest thing I'd like students to know is that we genuinely care. Um, we don't just send those surveys out just to like go, that's what they want. We're gonna do the opposite of that. Um, almost everything we brought has been something that a student has said they wanted at least once. It's extremely valuable. Um, sometimes we're like, we don't know um, what different types of students are going to want. And then we turn to those surveys and they tell us exactly what they want and it's so much easier to just envision what everybody could possibly have imagined an event that they could see on our campus could be um, for us. Um, but we also use those surveys when we're thinking about planning big concerts and big comedians. We stick very closely to survey data. Um, we can't always release it because of the nature of contracts and things like that, but we pay very close attention to what the students say and in what order things fall. So we have Noah Cyrus um, with Opener Valley coming out on the 23rd. They're going to be here. Um, the final blowout's going to be pretty cool. I'm not totally sure what that's going to look like yet because that's not my committee. Um, but we've got movies coming up also. Pride and Prejudice Tea Party on the quad is going to be really, really sick. Um, we got finger sandwiches, and I love finger sandwiches. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of fun things happening. Um, like I said, it's a very busy time of year for us.